Hi, my name is Beth Fraser. I'm a year and industry placement student at Procter & Gamble in Newcastle at their research and development facility. So I'm working on uh, improving P&G products. I'm going to talk to you a bit about the Engineering Development Trust Year in Industry Scheme, which is a way to get a year-long placement in industry, um, either before uni or before an apprenticeship or during uni. Um, so I'm going to be studying Chemical Engineering at the University of Birmingham in September. And I chose to do a year in industry because I wanted to do a gap year and I wanted to gain some relevant work experience and, and a bit of cash for uni as well. And the application process is really simple. You just sign sign up online and it's no obligation. And um, you fill in a form and they'll email you and you get a, a, a phone interview with one of the year in industry team. And that's just to kind of work out what your priorities are and what you want out of the placement. So, you know, they can make sure that they really match your criteria to those of the jobs. And it's a really short interview. And then after that, they'll start submitting your CV to different employers that match. Or you can look on the um, vacancies page on their website, see what's going and, you know, put yourself forward for things. And then if you're successful, you get offered an interview. And if the interview's successful, you're offered the job. Um, it's worth saying that if you're going to defer uni and you've already got an offer, make sure you um, have got like a confirmed job offer before you defer because you don't want to end up that you've deferred and then not got the job. Um, at P&G, like I said, I'm working on improving uh, consumers' experience with P&G products. So most days that means that I'll be in the labs generating data and writing reports on data and things like that, but I also do continuing professional development, so I'll go to trainings on software and new equipment and things like that, so that's really helpful. Um, obviously at the minute I'm not in the labs, I'm working from home, so I'm summarising all the work I've done so far and trying to get ahead on um, recording placement, because that's another thing with the year in industry scheme, is you can do industrial cadets platinum accreditation, so all you have to do is record your placement and you're eligible automatically. Uh, as you're doing the year in industry scheme through the Engineering Development Trust as well, you don't have to pay the entry free fee. And um, the patron of Industrial Cadets is Prince Charles, so it's a really well recognised scheme. And uh, yeah, you, you fill that in. So I've, I've been working on mine at home um, and I'm still able to connect with people at work and learn things, which I'm really enjoying. So uh, there are catch-ups weekly and we've had a pub quiz in my department which is really nice see how people are doing um, and so I really I really enjoy working at P&G and I think my favourite part is that I know I can improve consumers lives in small but meaningful ways through the work that I'm doing and as well it's a really diverse environment to work in so I'm from I went to a small school in Northumberland it wasn't really that diverse and then coming to p and I'm surrounded by people of different cultures and nationalities and everyone's really encouraged to bring their full self to work which I think is really good and you know I'm proud to work for uh, an organisation like that and I'm also really proud of the charity work that P&G has been doing I mean year round but especially in this crisis so lots of different employees have been you know volunteering their time we've been donating products so Things like fairy liquid, aerial, you know, all these washing powder things that are really important to, for people to keep clean. And I think as well, the fact that the Newcastle sites in particular have donated £50,000 to local charities to support people who are in need is amazing. And, you know, it's a, it's a great organisation to work for. It makes me really proud. So I would really recommend that. Um, in terms of any advice that I would give you for before you go to uni, I think take every opportunity that's offered to you. Um, so you're already doing a Head Start course, which is uh, a great idea to kind of sample uni life and see if it's the sort of subjects that you want to study. But if people give you the opportunities to do things that are maybe outside your comfort zone a bit, just do them. So for example, for me, filming a video of myself talking about how I got my job and things is not necessarily within my comfort zone, but it's a really good thing to broaden your horizons and like improve your 
widen your skill set, I guess, and it makes you much more employable and you can show that you're willing to, to try things and stuff. So I think, yeah, just take every opportunity you're offered. And if you're thinking that actually there's an opportunity that you've seen and they haven't yet offered you it, just ask, be proactive and um, yeah, try and put yourself out there um, and don't be afraid of people saying no because it's not the end of the world. So yeah, good luck with uni and thank you for watching.